Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. In this quick course, I will show you how to use Change Manager for DB2 to analyze a work ID. Once you have specified the changes, the analysis process will examine the changes you have specified to determine what impact they might have on the DB2 structures. Analysis will query the catalog to determine if any conditions exist that could cause a problem when implementing the changes you have specified. Analysis will check the request for validity with the DB2 catalog, develop an optimal implementation strategy, and generate a work list. Analysis will propagate changes to dependent structures. From the main menu, enter the work ID name that you are interested in. Then enter 5 for Analyze Work ID and press Enter. From this menu, select Option 1 to preserve the current data. You can run the analysis in batch or the foreground. Because this is a small change, I've chosen to run the analysis in the foreground. Press Enter. Enter a work list data set. Change Manager will create a new one for you, but if you'd like to use a PDS, the data set needs to already exist. Several options can be overridden. I will place an S next to override so we can go through some of those options. Place an X next to create analysis input and edit analysis input. I have also chosen to run the analysis and edit the output. Press Enter. In the middle of this panel, you see an option for Global Auth ID. This option allows you to use a secondary Auth ID that would have the authority to execute the work list. You can specify how often to take checkpoints. By default, Change Manager takes sync points after the completion of each type of process. For instance, there will be a sync point after the unload is complete, then after all the databases are created, then after all creating all the table spaces, and so on. The default is 10. Press Enter. Because we are doing an alter, the main option to consider here is rebind. However, if this had been a migration, you have the option to include the data and or only the data to do a data only migration unselect sql in ams here press enter i would like to highlight a few options here val warn is provided to resolve create issues in db2 in your work list you could have views on aliases and aliases on views so which one do you create first? If we create a view on an alias that doesn't exist, we would get an error. Val warn allows us to downgrade that error to a warning, which will be resolved when the alias is created. No unload empty allows us to examine run stats to see if the table is empty. If it is, we will not unload it, but we'll add a select statement in the work list to double check and make sure there are no data in the table. If you own BMC Database Administration for DB2, Parallel allows you to unload, load, and copy multiple tables at the same time, reducing overall elapsed time. Press Enter. Because we selected Parallel on the last panel, we get a message reminding us to specify the BMC utilities to get parallelism. On this panel, you can choose the unload, load, and check options. Notice option 5 under unload. Although you may not own NGT Recover, there is a piece of that code included with Change Manager that allows you to use an existing image copy instead of unloading and loading the data, saving you precious time. Press Enter. This panel is for the reorg if needed. 
I will take the advantage of the pending DDL option available with DB210. I selected to use IBM Reorg Utility and use share level reference. Press Enter. These options address the copy utility. Notice option four that allows you to skip the copy but execute a start access force. You can use this option in test if you don't take image copies in that environment. Notice also the option at the bottom of the panel that allows you to request the copies to be done by partition. Press enter. If you are using parallelism, you will need to select the options in the middle of the panel to dynamically allocate the data sets. This panel provides several options for statistics. Notice option two on top. It allows Change Manager to gather statistics while executing other utilities if they are capable. Press Enter. This panel provides you the option to list all the columns on the unload statement rather than a select asterisk. Press Enter. Once you have gone through all the options, Change Matter will create the input to analysis. Because we chose to edit the input, we can do so here. Press F3. Although we already selected to run the analysis, Change Manager brings us back to this screen to verify that we want the analysis to run. Press Enter to begin the analysis. This is the work list. The first part will display all the PTFs that have been applied to Change Manager. This list is important if you run into a problem and need to get support involved. Press F8 to scroll down. Next, you will see a list of the input that was used to generate this work list. Again, this is important. If you don't get the results expected, you can look at which options were used. Press F8. This is where the actual work list starts. Notice the timestamp of when the analysis was executed. The subsystem is on the next line and the work ID name is on the following line. Next, you'll see the DDL that needs to be executed. In our example, we see the alters because these alters will create pending DDL. Press F8. After all the alters, the work list shows which utilities are needed to complete the alters. In our case, a reorg will apply all the pending DDL. Run stats will also be executed after the reorg. Press Enter. Thank you for your time. For more information on any BMC Change Manager feature, please visit the Quick Course in this series.